Francesco Foglione, widely known as Padre Pio, was born on May 25, 1887 in Pietrelcina, a small town in southern Italy. His parents were named Grazio Foglione and Maria Giuseppa di Nunzio. He was baptized the day following his birth. His childhood and teen years were spent in Pietrelcina in a farming community. Those Serene's peaceful days were divided among his home, church and school. The idea of consecrating his life to God forever had been his since he was a little boy. One of his spiritual directors was a Capuchin monk, Father Agostino Daniele. His account tells of how Padre Pio began seeing vision and experiencing spiritual rapture from the age of five. One of his other spiritual directors, Father Benedetto Navilla, wrote that around the age of five, he felt the need to give himself out to God. The main altar, the heart of Jesus appeared to him and signaled him to approach the altar and then put his hand on his head. From that moment on, I could feel the intensity of his love for Jesus grow as well as his desire to give himself over to God. At the age 12, he received the sacrament of the first communion and then confirmation the following year. Let us keenly watch this video. I think it's best to admit him to a hospital. That's impossible. He has to be able to give the mass tomorrow. Let's leave him to rest. I'm counting on you. Don't say a word to anyone about what you've seen here. Monsignor, what are you doing here? I want to see him. You can't. He's ill. Then all these people out here, what are they waiting for? They are prayer groups. This is a special day for them. Why? Today is the 50th anniversary of his stigmata. In that case, I should give him my best wishes too. Have you no heart? Don't you see how he is? Why must you torment him to the very end? Who is out there? No one, Father. Why do you lie to me?
let him in. He wants to see you. Who sends you here? No one. I come of my own free will. Well, then I may not answer you. I know you won't do that. You're too convinced of your sanctity. I'm just a poor friar. But thousands of fanatics follow you, come to celebrate you. Hmm. There's nothing more to celebrate. I'm dying. Then the moment has come to tell the truth. What else do you want to know? Everything that you have kept hidden. You've persecuted me for 50 years. Hasn't that been enough? 50 years of the Middle Ages. That's what you've given us. You've always exploited the naivete of the people. Inspired fanaticism, superstition, and you, a saint, the healer. Church has no need for people like you. I'm the one who needs the church. I don't wish to die this way. Rejected. So just tell me the truth. Who are you? Francesco Forgione. Known as Padre Pio from Pietrocina. Just tell me. Who you are. I don't know. I'm a mystery also to myself.
What are you doing? I'm frightened. Help me. How is it possible that when I need you, you're never there? I'm frightened. I felt put to the test and left alone. But then, when I went before him, I knew nothing was going to harm me. He was my nourishment. I placed my hopes in him also. Also, when I was in despair. Very moving. But I didn't come here to hear of the childhood tribulations. Then you are mistaken. Everything started there. It was then that I understood that if I were to implore him with all my heart, he would have heard me. San Pellegre, you are such a miraculous saint. Grant me this favor for my poor son. San Pellegre, grant me this favor. I know he's not a good son, but what can I do? don't want to help me. Then I'll leave him here. This is what you should have done. It's a miracle! San Pellegrini pardoned him! Oh. Oh. Franchi, what have you done? Come on, let's go. What are you telling me? life. You want me to believe you've had this strange gift since childhood? I never had any gift. I've always been but a spectator of the Father's miracles. What's your name? Francesco. And you? I'm Friar Camillo. And who are these? This is Saint Joseph. This is Saint Francis. 
And this is St. Michael the Archangel. Just a minute. This one who is pierced by the arrow is Saint Sebastian. And this is Saint Anthony of Padova. I don't know them. Ah, no. Wait. You know who these are, right? Of course. Jesus and the Madonna. I see them all the time. How do you see Jesus and the Madonna? And what do they say? Lots of things. Why? Don't you see them? I guess I was never that fortunate. I don't believe it. You're just saying that because you're humble. Well, seeing that you're good friends, the next time you see them, tell them to let me see them too. Don't worry. I'll tell them. I'll send them to you. <laughs> Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to become a monk like Frere Camille. Franchi, you know that to become a monk you need to study hard. And in order to study you need lots of money. If Franchi wants to be a monk, we will find the money. And how's that? We could sell the cow. No, not the cow. What kind of a father are you? You care more for a beast than for your son. If the Lord wants my son to become a monk, I will find a way for him to study. But the cow, no. The cow, no. Papa, don't leave. It's my fault that you're going so far away. sacrifice so much for my studies. dead and your life lies with Christ God. Peace and good tidings. Hey, little one. You finally come, eh? Come here. I'll present you to the Master of Novitiates.
father. Perhaps it's best if you rest. No. So then, the life of a novitate was hard, eh? Yes, father. Yes. They make it that way to mortify the young men's pride. Do you know, do you know which was St. Francis's greatest miracle? That after 700 years, <laughs> there's still a Christian that wants to become a monk. <laughs>